Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Dental Times Weekly Roundup for Friday, December 30th. Hope you're having a beautiful holiday. Let's get into the news of the week. All right, let's start with a really cool article from Insider Monkey on the 10 most advanced countries in dentistry. Uh, number 10 is Spain, nine is Brazil, eight is Belgium, seven is the UK and also Northern Ireland, six is the Swiss Confederation, Switzerland, number five is Japan. Number four is the United States of America. Interesting. That would be higher, but we'll take four. All right. Number three, Netherlands. Interesting. Really cool. All right. Netherlands, number three. Number two would be Hong Kong, China. And number one, interesting, Sweden uh, is number one, the most advanced country for dentistry cool list a lot of innovation going around uh, the entire industry worldwide and it's always interesting to see where the u.s stands against other countries you know this is a really interesting article to maybe share on your dental practices social media talk about all the innovation and advanced technology at your dental practice whether it's 3d printing artificial intelligence same day crowns all of your offices have some really incredible technology and you're offering services that perhaps your patients don't know about. So use this story as inspiration to share about the advanced technology and incredible services you are providing at your practice for your patients. Beautiful, healthy smiles. Let's move over to a great interview with Dr. Michael Durbin, who's the 2023 president of the Chicago Dental Society and uh, Dental Tribune did a great piece on this. Uh, the title of the article is Midwinter Meeting is a must attend event that is a one stop shop. Um, I'm from Chicago. I love Midwinter. If anyone's going to the upcoming Chicago Midwinter, please sign up for one of my presentations on uh, social media marketing and video and all that good stuff. But back to the article, um, it's interesting. So the interview covers a lot of cool points, but one of the questions was, what do you find to be the most challenging part of being a dentist? And Dr. Durbin says, one of the issues with the many tech technological advances that have taken place over time is that it can be difficult to incorporate some of these new technologies into the systems we currently use at the office. He continues, dentists are constantly weighing the benefits of new technologies in, in determining how and when to make the switch. In the end, we make this decision based on how we can better treat our patients and continue to, to, and continue to provide high quality care. He goes on to say, this is one reason why the exhibit hall at the Chicago Midwinter Meeting is such an attraction to dentists around the country. You get to see, learn about, and try out the latest technologies to decide whether a product or service is the right fit for your practice. Really interesting because we started this uh, weekly roundup with the advanced technology and the innovation in the worldwide dental, dental industry. And we see this a lot with practices. Maybe you get this uh, brand new Cerec machine that has all these bells and whistles or you're doing 3D printing, whatever it is. And there's a, there's a lack of integration and, and, and uh, adoption with the team and letting your patients know about it. So this is really important. If you are investing the time, energy, and resources to get the latest and greatest technology at your practice, make sure you're working with the consultant or with one of these manufacturers and how to seamlessly integrate it at your practice. Because if you do that, you'll be way more successful. All right, CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Company, did a really interesting piece called Dental Hygienist Encourage More Men to Join quote unquote, female dominated profession on PEI. Uh, attracting men to the field seen as a way to help address shortage. Really cool piece. Uh, Gerald Proctor went from being a truck driver to a dental hygienist and hasn't looked back. Um, it's just great to see such diversity in the dental industry and uh, just really cool things going on uh, around the worldwide dental industry. And he talks about how he loves treating patients, providing uh, patients 
with beautiful, healthy smiles. He talks about the, the teamwork and just being a part of dentistry is, is really an honor. Um, and also the demand for dental hygiene services has really increased, which I'm sure a lot of you listening know about. So great article by the CBC, very cool. In international dental conferences, coming up next month is the International Conference on Orthodontics and Implant Dentistry, the ICOID in Amsterdam. That looks very cool. Um, you got the International Conference on Dentistry in Paris, France, also next month. And you have another international conference on cosmetic dentistry and whitening in Istanbul, Turkey. So a lot of international conferences coming up around the world. Very cool. Check out Dental Times for more listings on conferences near you. In stocks uh, recently, Modern Dental Group stock is up 45%. A uh, great article uh, entitled, Could Fundamentals Be Driving the Momentum? And uh, Modern Dental Group uh, is an investment holding company, and they have uh, production and devices in Europe, China, North America, Australia, and in internationally. Uh, great performance, market cap of $2.4 billion, and their last price uh, on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange is $2.39. Very interesting to see all these worldwide dental companies, how they're performing in this economy. Good stuff. This weekly roundup is brought to you by Dentainment. Yes, Dentainment, a digital marketing agency and consultancy for practices around North America, providing websites, SEO, social media management, marketing consulting, plus much more. Visit Dentainment.com. Big thanks to everyone for tuning into this weekly roundup. Keep up the inspiring work and have a beautiful holiday and happy new year that's filled with smiles. <laughs>